welcome back to my channel. My name is Kit Gutter Bratz and this week we are going to the Lake District, Manchester and Bristol. And currently I am filming the intro for this video in Manchester. I didn't have any makeup on when I was in the Lake District and I feel a little bit better now. So yeah, I'm just bringing you along for the week and it should be a very fun vlog. Anyways, I will see you next back a few days ago when we were in the Lake District. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave me a like down below and don't forget to leave a comment. First day of our trip and we are in the Lake District today. We drove up last night and arrived around about seven o'clock. It wasn't too bad of a drive. I think we left around about half two yesterday and got to the Lake District around about seven, half past seven. We camped overnight and today we have been, we just climbed up to the peak of this. <laughs> we just finished doing that and I have some little clips that I'll insert of that. Today we are going to go have a little walk around Lake Buttermere and Lake Krasik, I think. I can't remember the exact names, but it's... That one there is Lake Krasik. But right now we are away to head to Buttermere because we have just done this, which was called... I can't remember what this was called. I looked it up so many times on Google Maps yesterday, but I've actually forgotten what it was called. Rannerdale Knot. So we climbed to the peak of Rannerdale Knot and then came back down again. We didn't do the full circular loop. We did just do up to the peak and back down again because we have quite a lot that we want to fit in today. We are camping again tonight before we head off to Manchester tomorrow night. Yeah, that's just a little update just now. I will catch up with you later. Just before I do go away, I decked it twice climbing back down that hill, which is great. Love that for me. to Cockermouth. We went round Buttermere, we had a wee coffee, stop at Buttermere and now we are heading off to Ennerdale Lake to camp and stop off for the evening and tomorrow is down to Derwent Waters in Keswick but that's us pretty much done for today and it's only one o'clock. I didn't realise when I was planning all of this that it wasn't going to take as long as a full day so we have added Ennerdale Lake into our trip even though we weren't initially meant to do that but it should be fun. We're about to drive there and then tomorrow morning we'll get up and drive to Keswick. Sunday and I am looking a little bit rough. We camped for our second night just last night and we are off to Manchester this evening. Today we are heading off to Derwent and we're going to go visit the little town of Keswick and then we are heading off to Manchester later on this evening after. And we have a hotel and I'm so excited to not have to sleep in a tent and actually have a hotel. But it was really nice where we stayed last night and I'm just looking like so looking forward to having a normal bed and having a normal shower. It's gonna be great. 
I think that's all. We ended up doing a little bit of a change of plan since the last time I spoke to you. We ended up going to Whitehaven for a little visit because we it was like three o'clock and we were like, we still have time to kill. So we went to Whitehaven walked around Whitehaven, then got back in the car and came to Ennerdale to camp. Which wasn't exactly our plan, but we'd managed to fit so much into yesterday morning that we figured we might as well just add that in as well. So yeah, today is Keswick and Derwin. Surface a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The I can't remember when the last time I filmed was or what the last thing I filmed was, but we're in Manchester now. We made it to Manchester and I am just in the middle of getting ready, as you can see by my face, I'm not fully ready. But we made it to Manchester yesterday and we went out for food at a place called The Wolf at the Door or something. They have like one pound bao buns and one pound tacos. We had that, we had chips, had a drink, and then we went and just did a loop around the centre of Manchester just to see what it was because we didn't have anything planned and we got a bottle of wine came home and that was basically it for yesterday. The drive was totally fine, Keswick was lovely and it was a wee bit sad leaving Keswick. I obviously had a little bit of a breakdown in Keswick because it was too busy, we loved that for me. But Manchester's gonna be fun. Today we are going off to the Trafford Centre and I have this thing where I just love shopping centres and love walking around shopping centres and seeing all the shops that they have but I hate, I hate busy places and I hate being in crowded spaces or anywhere where I feel like there's lots of people like surrounding me or looking at me so I don't know how I'm gonna get on with the Trafford Centre but I also really enjoy just going to massive shopping centres and not necessarily buying anything but like walking around. When we get back into Manchester we're also gonna go to Affleck's today and we're gonna have a look around Arndale, Manchester Arndale shopping centre. So today is pretty much just a go and look at shops day but for the past few days, so Saturday, Sunday, which have been our two full days in the Lake District and a little bit in Manchester. I've gotten over 30,000 steps on each of those days so we're definitely making some moves. I don't know what to say. We're definitely like getting some ground in but yeah I will catch up with you later. I will like see what we get up to today. just made it into the Trafford Centre and I can't actually get over how massive this place is. I've been to the massive shopping centre in Milton Keynes and that was massive but this is mad how busy it is. We're here at like 9.30 so nothing opens until 10 but it's given us a chance to kind of walk around and see everything but it is mad how big this place is. I can't believe it and I thought the Milton Keynes shopping centre was big but this is huge. It's so cool. We're gonna stay here until around about lunchtime before we head back into Manchester to go check out some of the other shopping centres but I'll insert loads of clips from when we're here so that you can see as much as I can show you because it's just, it's mental how much there is to actually look at and how much there is to take in.
walking for like 20 minutes now and I don't even think we've covered the whole of the shopping centre yet. This is... No, it's actually massive. <laughs> Mad. It's crazy. tram back from the Trafford Centre and then headed straight to Applex and we've just been in there and we've probably spent like two hours just wandering around in there. It was really cool, lots of really interesting little shops and we picked up a couple of little things as well so that was good. No idea what we're away to go do next but something. <laughs> Day. We have been to the Trafford Centre today, we went to Arndale and we went to Affleck and we picked up some really cool stuff so I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we picked up today because I got this phone case mm -hmm. which is just like the cutest thing. Also got another phone case which has little Chibi Inus on it which mm -hmm. is so cute. These little badges. Little pin badges from the same little shop which are just so cute. Mm -hmm. Kenji, Kenji Land I think it was called. When we were in Affleck's we picked up some little necklaces that have little ghosts on them. I don't know, this will focus. <laughs> Just cute little ghosts. And Ethan picked up some Got shirts. Some swanky new shirts. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> from the nice. bin. And then this shirt as well, which is just really sick. Really, like this really one. cool. This was you that picked this one, really. And we also have a wee cake cinnamon bun thing that we picked up from the food hall in Selfridges. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you it, but. Oh, they only gave us one thing. Oh, what? We got a Ferrero Rocher cinnamon bun, which we are going to have later on so tonight. Good. It looks so good. I don't even know. Just now, we also went to an Asian market today and we picked up some snacks. We picked up three snacks today mm -hmm. and we were going to taste test them in this vlog, which is it's new for my good. channel. So we have Astor Vanilla Shake Milky Sensation mm. Crunchy Roll things. You picked them. They look tasty. I picked these, yeah. And then peanut. Peanut wafers. Peanut wafers. Which you think seem really boring, but yeah. I think sound really good. Apparently really I have good. boring taste in snacks, but... <laughs> Which one do you want to try I think we should try these. these. These look really tasty. They look good. They're like wafer things. Show sure, close. No. No? They're kind of not got anything in them. Yeah, they're like hollow. Mm-hmm. They don't really taste of anything. They taste like ice cream cone. Mmm. If it had vanilla in it. Mmm. It's a little bit disappointing. A wee bit. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing we have are these peanut I have wafer things. They're like squares. Yeah. So they were going to be like um, pink. pink panthers. They're kind of like plain little square things. They smell peanut. Oh, they're good. They're like peanut butter pink mm. panthers. <laughs> Oh, they're amazing. <laughs> they're really good. Not terribly disappointed. That was a good pack. Yeah, not terribly disappointed in those at all. Oh, they have a nice like salty aftertaste. Mm -hmm. mm. That was everything that we got to taste test. It's probably really noisy. Our window in this hotel is broken. Mm -hmm. We can't close it and we've had to like listen to people going up and down with music playing and everything. It's not it's not great, but mm -hmm. it's it's not like we're spending a whole lot of time in the hotel anyway. So we've barely been here. But yeah, today was really just a day of shopping and tomorrow we are going to museums and maybe the art gallery. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be noisy. Museums, maybe the art gallery and we might try to get you some climbing shoes. Might try to get me some climbing shoes and 
I think that's really it. We've been walking so much as well. We've done like 30,000 steps every single day. Apart from today where we're at 25,000, but we've just been walking I think that'll everywhere. Be <laughs> that's it for today. We're yeah, tired. we are going to. I'm going to edit this vlog a wee bit. I'm going to sit and watch some TV and eat that delicious cinnamon bun. <laughs> and then go to sleep. Catch you tomorrow. Bye. The mountain of snacks that we have accumulated for this trip is a bit ridiculous. filmed was for this vlog but last night we went out to Satan's Hollow and we got back in at about two and we are heading onwards to Bristol today. We're gonna go get a coffee and then we are driving down to Bristol which is about a three and a half, three hour drive, it's like a hundred and something miles and we will be in Bristol for three nights before making a two day trip back up to Scotland. Bristol last night and we kind of just wandered around for a little bit of the evening and today we are heading to Manchester Museum. We went for a climb this morning in a climbing gym that's like 10-15 minutes away from where, we are, where we're staying and then went and got coffee and some little pastry and cakes. But yeah today we are going to the, Man the Manchester? The Bristol Museum and then we are meeting up with Ellie. <laughs> final day in Bristol we are just going to walk up to Clifton suspension bridge today and I don't think we'll do very much else because just I'm so tired I'm a bit ready to go home met up with Ellie last night um, we went out for a couple of drinks and ended up going to Thecla and we queued outside Thecla for an hour before we even got in which was a bit brutal but we 
What did we do? We went and had drinks and we went to Thecla and we probably left at about 10 to 2 and the floor we were on closed at 2 anyway so we left a bit early, made sure that Ellie got in an Uber safely home and then walked back and got some food and came back and we weren't back until like 3 o'clock in the morning so we slept in a little bit this morning. Yeah, today we're just going to go up to Clifton Suspension Bridge and we'll probably be finished and done and back in the hotel really quite early today just because we leave tomorrow and I think we're planning on doing the full drive back up to Scotland in one day rather than splitting it into two days which was the initial plan to do it over the weekend. I think we are just going to drive all the way from Bristol to Scotland tomorrow which is like an eight hour, eight and a half hour drive which isn't going to be ideal but we'll get there. Anyways I will catch up with you later. back to the hotel really quickly to just kind of have a little bit of a break. We walked up to Clifton Suspension Bridge this morning, well this afternoon, I think we got there at like one, and we came back to the hotel. We're about to head out again for maybe an hour or two before coming back and just going to sleep, but we're gonna go meet Ellie, a couple of Ellie's friends, just for a couple of wee drinks, and then we're coming back and we're going to sleep because we have to travel back up to Scotland tomorrow, so that's gonna be fun. for the England, Bristol, Manchester, Lake District vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Bye.